All right, so we just got to the farmer's market. We're gonna grab everything that we need for our liver cleanse. So we just got back from the market and here's what we got for the liver cleanse. So we just went into grocery outlet to get some more groceries and got our box of celery as you can see back there. And now I'm gonna head to Sprouts to get the rest of our food for the liver cleanse. So just got home from Sprouts, got the rest of our food for the liver rescue cleanse. You can see it back here in the back trunk. Oh, and there's, there's my helper. Let's see. I hear someone <laughs> needs some help over here. <laughs> <laughs> help me unload all these groceries. Oh my gosh. start off with your 16 ounces of lemon or lime water and then you're going to move into your breakfast which is a meal of your choice and then a snack of your choice breakfast what does that mean so we will generally have the heavy metal detox smoothie as our breakfast for those first three days of the cleanse because we usually have that for breakfast and we love it so we just keep it as our breakfast so that would be a good option or any other smoothie would be a good option a ton of fresh fruit would also be another great breakfast item to have. And then a snack, we keep it easy. We'll usually just grab an apple, but that could be like any fruit or even vegetable um, of your choice. So I gave you some great examples of breakfast items. However, you can choose whatever you wish as long as they fit within the guidelines that are listed in the book. Now let me show you what those guidelines are. Avoid gluten, dairy, eggs, lamb and pork products because they're extremely high in fat, and canola oil. Now we choose to avoid all meat products because they're all extremely high in fat and it just allows for a better healing. You also want to make sure that you um, reduce your consumption of fats by 50% of what you normally eat and then only eating those fats at dinner time during those first three days. This also includes healthy fats too, right? Yes, yes, healthy fats as well. So if you do eat meat, that's making sure you, you know, cut those by 50%. But if you are vegan, plant-based, like we are, the healthy fats of um, oils, nuts, seeds, and avocados, also making sure that you only have those at dinner time and you're also cutting those by 50%. So days one through three, you get to choose your breakfast and snack of choice. The only difference between the three days is that day one is breakfast, snack of choice, day two, breakfast, snack of choice, plus an apple, and then day uh, three is breakfast, snack of choice, and then two apples. So it's slowly increasing your apple intake every single day. What are you revving up there? You are revving up your liver so that it's, it's warming up to release those toxins. 
And this, this allows it to be done in a safe way, opposed to just like completely like dumping it all out at one time. That can be extremely dangerous for, for, to your body. So then is lunch, and that's also meal of your choice for days one through three. And we will usually stick to a salad or a smoothie that has a ton of leafy greens in it. Because another part of this whole cleanse is making sure you're bringing in lots of fresh leafy greens to help cleanse your liver. Now make sure you don't go hungry on this cleanse. If what is listed out isn't enough food to satisfy your hunger, you can munch on as much of the liver healing foods that he lists in the book to help keep you full and satisfied. So then dinner. So days one through three, you get to also choose your dinner. This is kind of a special treat because then the rest of the days, it's very uh, specific with the dinners. Um, so it's kind of like, it makes the beginning of the cleanse like a little bit fun because um, we're not into like the hardcore part yet. Um, so yesterday we chose to roast a bunch of vegetables and also steam some potatoes and did a, a vegetable bowl um, with like a spicy uh, red pepper sauce. Um, and that part was all fat free. And then just to um, add a little bit of that fat, um, we did a little bit of avocado on top. Also, Anthony, he has a ton of these recipes in the Liver Rescue book, in all of his books. So if you're looking for some meals to cook, check in the book. There's some great recipes in there. Check in some of his other books because there's also some great recipes in there. And that will help you uh, figure out some of these recipes for this cleanse. There's also really great recipe ideas for the breakfast. So if you're not into the smoothies or you feel like that's too cold for you in the morning, there's some other great uh, breakfast recipes in there too. So after dinner, about an hour before you go to bed, you're to consume 16 ounces of lemon water and um, a glass of hibiscus or lemon balm tea. So we do that before bed, um, and then if you're still hungry, you can um, snack on an apple. Something else you can do to heighten your cleanse is doing the liver flushing technique, where you take about one to five minutes, whatever amount of time you have in the morning to kind of lay down, close your eyes, place your hand on your liver, um, and do a meditation to where you're connecting with your liver. Anthony says to act as if it's a long lost friend that you've now found and connected with because your liver truly is your best friend. It knows you in and out, does anything for you. It collects so many bad toxins for you. And then once you connect with it and it knows that you're truly here to help it, it intensifies the cleanse that much more. So let's take a look at day two dinner. So we have leftover roasted onions, tomatoes, and then steamed sweet potatoes, roasted broccoli, and leftover surf rider sauce, which is like a spicy red pepper sauce. And then I'm gonna roast some peppers, onions, and saute some mushrooms. We'll be steaming some more potatoes, some so gold potatoes to mix in with the sweet potatoes. Then I made another fat-free sauce, so this is cheese inspired but without the nuts and it's potatoes carrots and a bunch of spices <laughs> all right day three let's see what ashley's got cooking on in the kitchen tonight so for tonight's dinner it's gonna be we're gonna take leftovers again We've got leftover gold potatoes, leftover veggies. Um, but it's not quite enough for the two of us, so I'm gonna steam some sweet potatoes. Um, Walk with me. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna steam some sweet potatoes. Um, and I just steamed some asparagus, which is for tomorrow's lunch. So the next three days, there's a lot of steamed asparagus and steamed Brussels sprouts that we have with those salads at lunch and dinner. So. I was just prepping that for tomorrow's lunch, um, and then I'll throw in the sweet potatoes, and we'll do potato veggie bowls again um, for dinner. So dinner sounds great for this evening. Now, what about lunch? Let's tell them what we have for lunch today. Yeah, so we had a smoothie, which is really easy, again, for us um, to get those leafy greens in. 
So it was a mix of a bunch of different leafy greens and some kale with mangoes, frozen mangoes to be exact. So frozen mangoes, um, a frozen berry mix, a few bananas, blended that with a little bit of water and then made us a big 32 ounce smoothie. Then we also had all of our apples for today, which consisted of two apples before lunch and then two apples after lunch. And the after lunch apples included uh, two to four dates. Now, would you say day one through three was pretty similar for like what we had for breakfast and then what we had for lunch? Like we didn't change that up too much. Yeah, we, we kept it pretty simple, kept it the same pretty much. Um, but you are welcome to have what you want as long as it's within the guidelines. We just kept it simple, especially with the dinners. That way you are um, not cooking as much food. Yeah. So. And we like smoothies for lunch because they're great to drink on the go. So if you're working or doing stuff outside, you can drink a smoothie as you're moving around and doing stuff. So. Yeah. Makes it a little bit easier to to get down and get through your day. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> right now I'm just prepping actually for day four for tomorrow because I'll be going into work. So I was prepping our lunch, which is going to be liver rescue salad, which there's a variety of options that you can put on the salad. It's basically you have, um, there's a guide um, for two salad options, and then you can pretty much put any of the liver healing foods onto the salads. Um, it is a lot of salads for the next three days because it's basically salads for lunch and dinner. So what we do is we will um, eat it as a salad and then also for other meals, we'll blend it.